Oh hey, it's Wes. And I'm gonna answer one of the questions that I get more than any other question. Well, there's two of them, and this video covers one of them. And that is, does the new A7 IV, which we're filming on right now, make the A9 obsolete? Now on the surface, that might either sound like a ridiculous question to you, or a completely natural question to you, depending on your photographic focus. So let's find out why, and let's get into that. So here we are, right now, we have a Sony A9 on the table, got a Sony A7 IV right in front of us. When this camera came out, it was very expensive, way more than a Sony A7 IV, but on the used market right now, this is about $2,000, which is a fantastic deal, especially since most of the used A9s have a very low shutter count because of the very high amount of electronic shutter used on these cameras. So let's get into it. $2,000 versus $2,500. So here are the pluses of the a7 IV. What might make the a9 obsolete? Number one, more intelligent autofocus system. The system on the a9, in some ways, it feels a little bit snappier and responsive, but overall, the autofocus system on the a7 IV is more intelligent. You have bird autofocus, you have video eye autofocus, you just have a more advanced autofocus system that is more aware of what's going on. Additionally, you have a higher megapixel count. You're looking at 33 megapixels on the a7 IV versus just 24 megapixels on the a9. In addition to that, those 24 megapixels are underneath a very strong anti-aliasing filter which reduces your detail. Whereas in the a7 IV, anti-aliasing filter is very, very weak. That can cause moiré, however, what it does cause is a lot more detail than the a9 produces. Additionally, you have better dynamic range on the a7 IV with regards to image quality. Additionally, the original A9 only has one UHS-2 card slot. There is a second slot, but it's only UHS-1 slash memory card duo. Pretty much the worst decision of this body. What a disaster that that is what they did. Whereas on the a7 IV, you have dual UHS-2 plus one of them is a CF Express Type A card. So that, both card slots, enormously upgraded from the ones in the A9. It buffers out so much faster if you're shooting in redundant RAW. Those files just disappear onto the cards, whereas in the A9, if you're redundant shooting, you're buffering out at the speed of the slowest card slot, and it is slow, which is a shame, even though you have a huge buffer. Additionally, we have just like with the a7 III, much better video codecs in the a7 IV. You've got S-Log 3, 10-bit HS, which is uh, HEVC. You've got high bitrate codecs, all I codecs. It's all in there. A9, none of that. Just straight, flat, Rec. 709 footage. It can look great, but not as versatile by any means. Additionally, a7 IV, 4K60. This is limited to 4K30. Connectivity! A7 IV kills it! It has a 10 gigabit per second USB-C port capable of USB power delivery charging. This thing will go all day. Whereas the A9 has a USB micro B port, 480 megabits per second, significantly slower than 10 gigabits per second. Also with slow charging, it can't stay charged through that port while in operation. It will continue to drain. And if you plug it into charge, it takes a long, long time. Even the LAN port on here, it's just 100 megabit per second. Crazy slow by comparison. So tethering on the A9, not a great experience unless you're shooting in JPEG. Finally, another nail in the coffin of the A9. The A7 IV has superior image stabilization, has active stabilization, and can do post-stabilization in Catalyst Browse, which is phenomenal quality stabilization. A9, not bad for stabilization, but not on that level at all. But here's where things get more complicated, and here is why the a7 IV does not make the A9, the original A9, obsolete. Number one, in lossless or uncompressed RAW, the a7 IV only shoots at 6 frames per second, versus the A9, which is capable of doing 20 frames per second in most circumstances. That is an enormous difference. Number two, a7 IV has worse battery life than the A9. That's kind of surprising, but that A7 IV heats up like crazy and that kills the battery really fast. And then next up, the A9 has a complete magnesium body. This is all metal except for 
just a few bits and pieces, whereas the a7 IV is plastic on the back end. That might not make a big difference to you, but it might make a big difference to other people. However, the a7 IV is a little bit better weather sealed. Well, I couldn't have planned that. The a7 IV just overheated. Thanks. <laughs> Something that has never happened to my A9. But moving on, since I've already mentioned overheating, the greatest Achilles heel of the a7 IV is its electronic shutter and rolling shutter performance. Compared to the A9, it is terrible. When it comes to shooting under artificial lighting, the a7 IV is not reliable when you're using your silent or electronic shutter. The A9, however, is very reliable and will work in most circumstances. And even when it comes to video, the rolling shutter on the a7 IV is significantly worse than on the A9. That is where the A9 excels, and I love my silent shutters. And the a7 IV, it's just not made for that. So, the end conclusion is, no, the a7 IV does not make the A9 obsolete. The A9 is still a camera designed for shooting speed, and it does a lot of things still that the brand new, much, much newer a7 IV cannot do. If you have any thoughts about this, let me know down in the comments below, and we'll talk about that. But until next time, let's go take some photos.